Hey, it's your local fish keeper Sabrina. Today I want to give you guys an update on my Congo puffers. So I moved Calcifer and Wolf into the same tank, a divided tank of course, and I figured they would appreciate it more because the tank that they are currently in now has more depth to it. With Congo Puffers, they appreciate a tank with greater length and depth compared to the height, so hopefully they love their new tank. But the main reason I moved them into the same tank is actually to make it easier on myself uh, to compare and to monitor their well-beings. Calcifer behavior-wise at the moment is much more interactive and he would occasionally swim up to me to greet me in front of the tank uh, compared to Wolf. Well, if you've watched our previous videos, you would know that Calcifer had egg when I first got him so I did pay more attention and I did spend more time with him compared to Wolf. Wolf lives in the living room so the only time he sees me is during feeding time and also during water changes and so I feel really bad, I want to work on them together at the same time. So hopefully by moving them in together, I can uh, pay attention to both of them at the same time. So now comes the biggest portion of today's video, which is about feeding slash diet. I believe I have a pair of the most pickiest potato boys in the world. So for the first week and a half, they completely refused to eat anything that I tried to offer them. Frozen food was a total no-go. With puffers, especially with wild-caught ones, it does require time and patience to actually train them to eat um, frozen food. So after a week and a half of not eating, I caved in and got some live fish. I don't support um, feeder fish that's being sold at fish stores as they may carry a lot of pathogens because they've been kept in poor conditions. So what I did was I actually got some guppies and mollies and actually bred them myself so that I know that they're safe to feed to my puffers. I even got some live ghost shrimps and they love them as well. So something interesting that I noticed between the two is that when Wolf hunts, he tends to hunt by burying himself in the sand and sort of wait for fish to swim by. Which is not surprising because they are ambush puffers. On the other hand, Calcifer tends to hunt by mimicking a floating dead leaf and sort of attack its prey that way. I don't know if it's the same for every single Red Congo puffers out there but I think it's kind of cool to see their different behaviors. However, I still want to widen their taste buds. Live fish shouldn't be the main part of their diet as it's not good for their nervous system, especially in the long run. Which is why I contacted a friend of a friend who owns a farm if I could get some worms. One of the best food to feed Congo puffers are gut-loaded earthworms. After seeing how I was struggling to feed my puffer boys, they sent me some African night crawlers. I did ask a few questions though before accepting them, like if there are any traces of bleach and what kind of food they feed these worms. So they own an organic farm, so no bleach and they feed quality worm food slash pellets to the worms. They're also used to selling quality live feeder insects and bugs for pets, so I feel a lot safer feeding my puffers these earthworms. And ta-da, these are the African night crawlers. I asked for small to medium sized ones. After giving them a good wash, it's time to feed the potato boys. but I am still going to consider the first try as a semi or quarter wind as they did seem interested in these worms. I'll try again later. 
Since I had an extra night crawler, I decided to give it to Artemis and Ness, my green spotted puffers, and just to see if they would like it. boys. Besides being absolutely picky eaters, they are healthy, which I am grateful for. Puffer fish require a lot of work and patience, but they are so totally worth it in the end. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Do give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more content. And especially don't forget to comment down below because I love hearing your thoughts and reading your comments. Until then, see you next time!